Hello guys, here is the next Unity tutorial in which I show you how I added a death animation for the low poly player of the game kit. I created the animation with Blender, it's version 2.79. Here you can see it, it's a very short one, it has 30 frames. I exported it to the project folder of my low poly game kit. And the imported animations are displayed here on the animation tab of the FBX importer and now also the death animation. Ok, and the next thing I will do is to add the death animation to the animator controller of the player. I open the controller and then I drag in the animation. I call it death and then I make a new transition from the any state to this new death state. After that I go ahead and add a new trigger and also call it death and I define it as the condition of the death animation. This means when I set the trigger in my c -sharp script the death animation will be played. So let's extend the c -sharp scripts. First the player controller. I define a public boolean property called isDead which indicates if the player is dead or alive. I regard him as dead when the health points are exceeded. Then I extend the take damage method and set the death trigger if the is dead property is set to true. In the take damage method of the damage source script in which damage is sent to the player repeatedly, I also check if the player is already dead. And then I set the is causing damage to false to end the while loop. Ok, now let's try and bring the player inside of the fire so that he is taken damage and finally dies. And here the death animation is played. Great, but we didn't lock the user input so that the player can still be controlled. <laughs> That's fun, especially this kind of resurrections. But ok, let's go back to the script and correct it. What we have to do in the player controller script is to avoid executing the logic of the fixed update and update method if the isDead property of the player is set to true. Or you can define it this way as well, it will only be executed if it is set to false. Ok, and now we start this again. The life of the player ends. He still holds the axe in his hand and we are not able to control him anymore. Ok guys, that's it for the death animation. The asset is available for free on the asset store. If you find it useful, please support me on my Patreon to help this game kit and my channel grow. Your support makes it possible for me to provide free game assets like this. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you on JNM.